Um, there have been several lines of uh, research on emodin, which is the pigment mm-hmm. in aloe and, right. and cascara and Chinese rhubarb. And uh, it has uh, a tremendous unexpected range of functions, uh, including a somewhat sedative or quieting effect, definitely not a stimulant, but activating oxidative metabolism in cells and having a bacteria-suppressing effect uh, and uh, uh, reducing inflammation. These are all uh, properties that uh, W.F. Koch uh, saw in the, uh, the, the simple quinone type of uh, uh, ca- oxidative catalyst. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the, um, when Koch went to Brazil, uh, he began studying Lepacho. He was probably the one that made it famous, uh, which is uh, a similar structure, uh, a, a multiple ring uh, structure that has a deep color. Uh, what these are doing is uh, the same as carbon dioxide. They're uh, modifying, sort of tuning up the electrical system of, of, of proteins in cells. And that's the basic idea that I, I think uh, has been a, a common theme from Farberg through St. Georgie, uh, is that uh, it's pointless to try to kill the cancer mm-hmm. as if it was a, a parasite uh, that could simply be removed, uh, because it turns out that uh, when cells are uh, normally uh, being uh, fatigued and, and replaced, uh, the dying cell uh, stimulates the growth of stem cells to replace the tissue. And uh, that's a process that happens in cancer. Uh, the natural uh, cancer cell is uh, very uh, weak and effective, so it, it doesn't have a long lifespan. But every time it dies, it stimulates the replacement of a similar defective cell. And uh, no matter how you kill uh, the cancer cell, it, it, that area is injured and is uh, tending to be replaced. Uh, the, um, uh, the injury caused by killing it uh, stimulates faster replace, replacement in, in most situations uh, than just leaving it alone. And uh, the alternative idea is to tune up both the, the tumor metabolism as far as possible and, and the uh, metabolism of the surrounding organism.